Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how you can make a custom texture pack here in Minecraft 118.2 and do things like this where I've changed the texture here of the obsidian block. Okay, let's switch over to the desktop and I'll show you how this is done. We first need to set a few things up for this and for that I have a window here with just a folder. I just made this folder on my C drive. I called it packs. You made anything you want, just make a new folder to work in. And I have my launcher opened up right back over here. Okay, and here you need some folders. First, you need an assets folder. Inside of that, you need a Minecraft folder. Inside of that one, you need a textures folder. And inside of that one, you need a block folder. So assets, Minecraft, textures, and block. Okay, back to our working folder right here. We also need to have the obsidian image. I'll show you where we can get that one. We need a pack.mc meta file. You can download this from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. Let's take a look at this real fast in here. It's just this but it's code and has to be exactly right. Right now in 118.2, the pack format is eight. It's gonna be changing to nine once 119 comes out. That is named mine Obsidian. Okay, so that's all taken care of. And you also need to have a pack PNG. It's simply a square image. Mine's at 256 by 256 with a picture of my walking character on it like that. The default is 120 by 128. And I'll show you where you can get the default one if you don't wanna make your own, easy to do. Okay, that's all set. Let's now get the Obsidian PNG. And for that, open up your launcher and click on installations. And in here where it says latest release, click on the folder right there. And that opens up the Minecraft folder inside of here. We're gonna come down to versions. It's right here. In versions, find your 118.2 file right there. Open that up. And you'll see two of these in here, your jar file and your JSON file. If you don't see the extension on this, go up here to view and click on this and then show and then find them extensions right there. I'm in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, you go up here, you click on the view tab and then put a check next to find them extensions. Same thing. Okay, make sure you see that dot jar. I'm just gonna right drag it over here and copy. There we go. Leave the original inside here. Get that out of the way. Now on this, just click into the name, make a couple of clicks. And then back over where it says dot jar and change that to dot zip. Hit the enter key and choose yes. It already is a zip file, it's just named differently. Okay, now in here, I'm gonna open this thing up in a new window. So right click on this and open in new window. Now first, make sure you can find that default pack PNG file. And this right in here, just scroll down. It's down towards the bottom down here. And it's right there, pack PNG. And this is just the dirt block PNG, okay. So that's where you can get that if you want to use the default one or make your own, it's fine. And then we need to get that Obsidian PNG right here. And that's inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of Textures down here, inside of Block, and then it's Obsidian. Let me go ahead and scroll over to that. And that's right there. Just right drag it over here. I've already done that and it's that one. So I'll just cancel that. Okay, that's all taken care of. We now have all the pieces that we need to make our new resource pack. Let's now go ahead and edit this file. And I'll be doing this inside of paint.net, which is free. I'll put a link for that in the description. I'll go ahead and I'll open that up right now. Here we go inside of paint.net. And this little thing down here, that's the image file. These are real small files. So the first thing we need to do is make this bigger so we can work on it more easily. And go up here to image, come down to resize. And this is a 16 by 16 PNG. I'm gonna make this four times larger at 64 by 64. Leave everything else alone. Where it says resampling, make sure that this is set to nearest neighbor and then choose okay. There we go. And then let's just zoom in on that. There it is. And I'll get this layers out of the way for us. Okay. And there's our image. Now in here, I want to make a new layer. So on our layers panel, come down to the bottom, click on this new layer button right here. There it is. And then I'm gonna take this tool right here. This is a selection tool, a rectangle selection tool. You see these little pixels in here? four pixels per block because we made it four times larger. So I'm gonna come in just four. And then right here, I'll make a selection just like that. And this is just the same width as those blocks. So I'll select that. And then I'll find a nice kind of orange color. Maybe in here someplace, doesn't need to be exact. And grab the paint bucket and fill that. There we go. And then control D to deselect. The same thing again. This time I'll come over eight blocks, which is right in here. And again, I'll pull down a selection like that. And we'll fill that with the paint bucket. Control D to deselect. And then the same thing on the other side over here. There we go, there's our first selection right here. And we'll fill that with that orange color. And then Control D to deselect. And come over eight, selection tool again. There we go. And then we'll fill that. Control D to deselect. Okay, now I want to blend this in with the layer in behind. You can do that up here. 
just double click where it says layer two and it brings up the layer properties and our blend modes are right here and change the blend mode here down to additive choose okay and there we go so our read paint here is done on this now you can do anything you want in here any kind of painting you want to this is just fine i'm just doing this because it's fast and easy for this video let's now save this out i'm first going to save it out using the save button right here and i'll leave it in the same location packs and let's say it's first as a paint.net file choose save that way i can come back to this later and maybe change my layer up here do different stuff so i have that as a working file but now i need to save this out as a png file same idea go up here to the file come down to the save as option right there and let's just change this to png there we go and I'll go inside of assets minecraft textures block and save it right here choose save and okay and flatten and that's now done we can close this down there we go now we're all set to make this into a resource pack so grab the assets folder hold the control key down get your pack mc meta and that pack png right click and compress to zip file or if you're in windows 10 it's just up at the top here share and zip and let's just rename this i'll call it obsidian and there we go that's our resource pack let's now get this into the game and for that go up here to the launcher we're still in installations over here to that folder right there click on that brings up our folder again and then this time go into resource packs go into here so mine's already in here but all you would do is just to take this file and then right drag it over here and copy i was like copying so i have my original over here to work on if i want to change it in the future choose copy i'm just going to replace one i already had in there replace and there it is it's now inside the resource packs folder we can close that down we're done with that we're done with this this now back here to play and let's play the game and take a look at that and there we go and again you can paint these things anything you want to and i'll see you next time